How much did the armor of the ancient Greek hoplite warrior weigh slash the weight of the armor of the ancient Greek hoplite warrior? Almost all of us have heard about such a formation of the ancient Greek infantry as a phalanx, where the soldiers stood in a dense line and each covered with his shield, in addition to himself, also a comrade on the left. Depending on the length of the spears, the phalanx could attack the enemy in one or two lines at once. In the films, the battle in such phalanxes looks like an easy task, feasible for anyone. However, was it really so? I propose today to calculate the total weight of the armor and weapons of the ancient Greek warriors, and then everyone will decide for himself whether he could fight for hours with such additional weight. Let's start with the helmet. The warriors of that time, called hoplites, wore bronze helmets that perfectly performed their protective functions. Before meeting with the head of the hoplite, the spear or sword of the enemy met with a thick nose guard, no less thick forehead part of the helmet, as well as cheeks that reliably protected the lower part of the head and neck of the hoplite. Often, these helmets were decorated with a painted plumage. And the weight of this miracle could reach up to 2-5 kilograms, depending on the th modifications. Now let's talk discuss the shield, which was called hoplon. The hoplon itself represented a round shield weighing about 8 kilograms. Its base was made of wood, covered with leather on the inside, and covered with bronze or iron on the outside. The shield provided very reliable protection, could withstand even the most terrible and powerful blows, covered the hoplite from neck to hip. Sometimes a curtain was attached to the shield from below to protect the legs from throwing weapons. Among other things, during the battle, when the hoplites were standing in a phalanx, not only its owner was covered with a hoplon, the warrior covered his comrade with the left side of the shield. As a means of protecting the body, hoplites used hippothorax, anatomical shells that provide excellent protection from the front. The hippothorax, anatomically repeating the contours of the male torso, weighed about 16, 5 kilograms. Among the disadvantages, an open side was noted, as well as a certain stiffness of the warrior's movements. The ancient Greeks wore nemids on their feet for protection. This type of leg armor was a curved bronze plate that followed the contours of the calf muscles and provided excellent protection for the lower leg, in later versions the knees were also protected by a special growth. A set of such protection weighed about 2 to 2, 5 kilograms. And, of course, let's look at the phalangist spear. A spear called dory is 2 to 3 meters long with a leaf-shaped bronze or iron leaf-shaped tip. It was the main weapon of the hoplites in the phalanx, which was used for stabbing blows from above or sharp attacks from below. On the back of the spear was a metal counterweight, thanks to which the spear could also be stuck into the ground to hold back the onslaught of the enemy. Weight reached 2 kilograms. As an auxiliary weapon, the Greek hoplite had a short sword 60 centimeters long called Xiphos. This short sword had a leaf-shaped blade, which made it possible to inflict stabbing blows in case of loss or failure of the main weapon, the dory spear. The blade was double-edged, and the weight of the sword reached 1.5 kilograms. Well, now let's calculate the total weight of the hoplite equipment, taking into account the maximum possible equipment weight parameters. 2. 5 helmet plus 8 shield plus 16. 8 cuirass plus 2. 5 greaves plus 2 spear plus 1. 5 sword equals 32. 3 kilograms. Now imagine if you could fight for several hours in battle formation, being in full gear of a Greek hoplite. Even rounding up to 30 kilograms, this figure is still quite impressive. That's how powerful and hardy the warriors of antiquity were. 